Okay, here's the basics on using Excel for your data tables. First thing that you want to do is when you open Excel in your workbook, you want to come down here to the bottom left and change this to a full spreadsheet instead of the page view because you're simply going to copy and paste your data tables in so you don't need the page view. And after that, uh, your first column always should be the thing that you changed and for us that would be the elements different elements that we used now you should always be mindful of the formatting and so um, you want to make sure that this is big enough so you could certainly make this bigger this way and you can also make it bigger this way. If I do that, I can also, under over here on my toolbar under alignment and spacing, make it centered um, vertical and centered horizontal. So now I can go through and list my elements. And I'm just going to do a couple magnesium, and we also worked with zinc, and you can fill in the rest. But what I want to do is I want to uh, then go ahead and begin to make my um, other columns be that which I observed. So here would be the thing that I changed or the thing that I manipulated. And then the next columns would be the things that I observed. And so uh, the first thing that you observed was... Um, the element through the magnifying glass. So magnifying glass. So you want to always try to be as specific as you can with um, your titles. And so if you were to put that, then that would certainly tell me what you were doing using the magnifying glass. Um, and I know that these things over the top here are your observations. So again, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to change this to vertical center and horizontal center. And then I can begin typing what my observations were. Magnesium was a thin strip. Uh, gray metal. Uh, also, you may put, uh, uh, using the magnifying glass, uh, you may have seen that it was... Um, shiny in places but with dark or rough spots and hit enter now the thing about this is you notice that this has gone all the way across here so what I want to do is I want to highlight all of my cells that I'm going to use and I want to go to format at the top cells and I want the um, alignment section and I want to wrap the text on all of these boxes so now you notice that all of my words are in one box um, in its width and what I can do now uh, instead of having to go all the way across for the one line, I can just change the width a little bit and that will make it adjust um, to be nice. Um, and then finally, with all of your data tables, you want to make sure that you include, um, you're going to have multiple columns here for the different things you do. You want to include borders. So you highlight everything, and then over here under borders and shading, just simply, you can just choose all borders and that will put a border. You can get much fancier than that. Um, and of course, uh, points for creativity. Um, but you always want to make sure that things are centered, things look nice. Okay. Uh, and at the top, uh, it's always good to maybe even shade in the top, which if you highlight all of them and they come down here to shading, um, you can change the color of the shade nice gray shade is always helpful at the top just to distinguish your titles from that 
your information here. Um, and so that's the basics of Excel and how you would use it, the formatting and what um, how you want to orient it. And then I'm simply going to take that, I'm going to highlight everything, and I'm going to edit and copy. Try that again. I'm going to edit and copy. And then we'll go to my Word document. And under the section that says data tables and observations, I will simply edit and paste. And once it catches up to me, there it is, my data table, nice and pretty. Good luck. Come and see me, please, if you have any questions.